Lift off and the clock has started. Sports here on YouTube. I'm your host, Brent Reed. If this is the first time you ever watched the show, feel free to subscribe at the bottom if you like it and leave a comment with a thumbs up, please. And tell a friend, tell all your friends. Today's show is going to be a little more somber than most shows as we look at a league that once was called the Negro Leagues in the topic. But we start every show, if you've never seen it before, with the must know news. And we kick it off with the Tim Tebow man is going to play in the WBC, the World Baseball Classic, for the Philippines in the qualifier game, which is kind of interesting for those of you who think, well, I thought Tim Tebow was Captain America. Well, Tim Tebow was born in the Philippines in 1987 when his parents were missionaries down there, so the boy has dual citizenship. Good for him. Moving on, tennis great Maria Sharapova is saying bye-bye. I don't know how to say bye-bye in Russian. Isn't it... Um, how you say it, too? Dasvidanya. Dasvidanya. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> She's saying Dasvidanya to tennis, and she calls it a quits after 19 years of playing. She has five uh, Grand Slam titles. She could possibly have been one of the greatest, but unfortunately, a young lady by the name of Serena Williams got in her way, not once, but just all the time. And then finally, uh, Sabrina Ionescu of the Oregon Ducks is the first ever player, men and women, to do something that's never been done before. 2,000 career points, 1,000 career rebounds, and 1,000 career assists. She is a monster, she's a guard. The WNBA is drooling to get this young lady. She was one of Kobe's favorite players to watch, and his daughter and him watched her play all the time. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see the day she gets drafted to the WNBA, and she just rules that entire league. But when we come back, we're gonna be in a different location from here, and we're gonna talk the Negro Leagues and what was what used to be a great league, Darren Sports. <laughs> All right, today's topic is going to be about the Negro Leagues, a forgotten league. And being that this is the last week of Black History Month, I feel like it's only important that we discuss a once forgotten league. The Negro Leagues was created because when the Major League Baseball formed to one league for the National League to Amer an American League, the White Sox owner did not want any blacks to play in his league. He was a commissioner, but you get the, he had the most clout and the most money. So the Negro Leagues was formed, and there were two different, there were multiple, multiple, multiple black, different black leagues owned. The two biggest leagues was the N A, the N N L and the N A L, the Negro American League, and then the Negro National League. Original, right? These leagues was huge from the 1920s to the 1930s. Some of the biggest names in the league, in baseball, period, played in these leagues. Josh Gibson, Cool Papa Bell, Satchel Paige, um, Smokey Joe Williams. Some of these were some of the greatest baseball players ever. These guys were so great that at one point, when they would hold games at Yankee Stadium, they would sell out more crowds at Yankee Stadium than the actual Yankees who played there. They would have barnstorming leagues that were never televised and never written about where you would have the white all-stars face the black all-stars. That's why I was never talked about, because a lot of times the black all-stars would actually beat the white all-star team. Now, to be clear, they weren't classified the white all-stars versus the black all-stars. That would be the Klan versus the Panthers. But, so, but the league itself would thrive. It would have its ups, it would have its downs. <clears throat> One of the most popular teams to come out of this league would be the Homestead, um, the, 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 the Homestead Grays. The Homestead Grays was a DC-based team, but you could also see them play in Pittsburgh as well. They had a, they would split their home games there. The, this team itself would appear in multiple Negro League World Series, or known as the Colored World Series. The Homestead Grays, with the five appearances, they would also have the most championships 
as well. The team that will follow them will be the Kansas City Monarchs, a team that was around actually until about the mid uh, 1960s when you would see the last little piece of the Negro League end and walk away. The Negro Leagues unfortunately couldn't survive against the White League as far as pay was concerned. Um, when you look at the pay period, the uh, white the, the white only the MLB will pay his players two thousand dollars. The black league would only make about four hundred dollars. The Negro Leagues was not just for black players; it was also for dark skinned Latin players as well. And a lot of some of the great Negro League players would go down to Cuba or Puerto Rico or Colombia to keep playing baseball because here in America they were not allowed to play. Some of the stats to this day are still being looked for because there's, there's all types of stories that the all-time home run king is actually Josh Gibson who played, it was a catcher, and some say he actually hit 800 career home runs. But because the league was, was uh, such a seesaw league, a lot of stats and everything wasn't taken. A lot of guys really were just playing for fun, just wanted to play baseball and have a place to play. The league eventually would fold when Jackie Robinson became the first player to jump ship uh, and be the first Negro League player actually to be signed to uh, an American uh, uh, Major League Baseball team in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Once Jackie came, the floodgates was open and they just took more and more and more and more players. With the ba with big baseball paying more money and actually letting blacks in, the Negro Leagues would eventually have to go away. And almost to some degree, the National League up until about 1957 would be the home for most Negro League players, whether it was Willie Mays with the Giants, Hank Aaron with the Braves, um, um, uh, uh, Don Newcomb with the Dodgers, and the list just goes on and on. In fact, some of the greatest names, in, and um, actually Satchel Paige, Believe it or not, he was about 45 years old when the Indians signed him, and he still was striking guys out. That's how great a player was. They once said Satchel Page was so fast, he could turn the lights on and be in bed before it got dark. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but that's quick. The Negro Leagues, quite honestly, will never be seen ever again. We've had other forms of amateur sport, I mean pro leagues, but the Negro Leagues are special. It was, uh, it, it, when the Negro Leagues was thriving, there was a such thing called the black economy. That's how big, because the towns that had successful Negro League teams were towns where majority African Americans or back then Negroes lived, and they were profitable. Uh, their clothing, food, uh, transportation was all big and all had a strong dollar. So once the Negro, it seems like it was tied together that when the Negro Leagues died, the black economy died as well. But it's all good, because now we getting paid in all the leagues. How about that? To be fair, if you think about it, because of the Negro Leagues, because of guys like Jackie Robinson, uh, you have Muhammad Ali, you have Michael Jordan, you have Kobe Bryant, you have the list goes on and on of great athletes who've gone on hell. You got uh, Barack Obama, think Jackie Robinson when he became president. So go figure. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been fun. Please subscribe at the bottom if you enjoyed. Hit us up at Instagram or hit us up at Twitter. And then um, check us out at the uh, Downrate Sports Radio slash podcast every Sunday after 11 o'clock. It posts and take a listen. Uh, special thanks to the music producer, Tim Woodson, for being the cameraman and recording today. And it's getting dark, and I'm going home. Deuces.